North Korea is sending a number of signals to the United States as its self-imposed year-end deadline for nuclear talks draws near. Following Kim Jong-un's symbolic visit to Mount Pekdu this week, the second such visit in about two months, the regime is also going to convene a major ruling party meeting later this month. Oh Jong-hee has the latest developments in North Korea. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un visits Mount Pekdu once again on a white horse. Pyongyang state-run Korean Central News Agency reported Wednesday that Kim looked around, quote, revolutionary battle sites in area and ascended Mount Pekdu. He was accompanied by Choi ryong hae viewed as a second-in-command, some top military officials and his wife, Ri seol -ju. Kim Jong-un said that his visit aims to instill the indefatigable revolutionary spirit of Mount Pekdu into party members. The people and the soldiers when all of us are in the drive to build a powerful, self-reliant socialist country, despite the unprecedented pressure imposed by the imperialists. That is, Kim trying to stir up the atmosphere to work towards achieving independent economic growth despite the crushing international sanctions. Kim visits Mount Pekdu whenever he has to mull over major political or diplomatic policy decisions. Meanwhile, North Korea is also holding a fifth plenary meeting of its ruling party central committee later this month. Pyongyang state media says they'll discuss the changing circumstances inside and outside the regime, as well as what it calls a, quote, Korean revolution. The Workers' Party's plenary session usually decides the party's major policies. The government will be on close watch because the meeting is to take place right before Kim Jong-un's New Year's address. North Korea has continuously warned that it'll walk a new path if its talks with the U.S. fail by the end of the year. And Kim's latest visit to Mount Pekdu and the planned ruling party gathering show that the North is currently devising that new path. Kim Jong-un's New Year's address on January 1st next year will lay out where the regime is heading amid its months-long stalled denuclearization talks with the U.S. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.